Alex Cora, he's going to tough it out and stay in here. We go back to the top of the order from Miami, and Rick Gama, who is one for two on the night. Oh, and they almost get him. Almost got him. Boy, Oakland's got a great move to first base. Well, he, he showed his good move there. Leads the Seminoles with six picks, and he nearly had number seven. Well, Cora with that bump shoulder and all. What's this? He has got to dive and use that arm that he just hurt sliding into first base. Wow. First. That's a good call. Oh. Him leaning, Cora was fading towards second. Alex on the year, five out of six in the stolen base category, taking a very cautious lead as Yokum comes to the plate and gets a strike on Rick Gama. Well, how would you like to be a head coach for a top ranked college baseball team and your leadoff hitter? Leads the team in home runs and RBIs. Kama does just that. Half dozen homers for Rick. Actually, the first two hitters in this order, Gama and Gomez, have 10 home runs between them. So as you were talking about earlier, Gene, these guys set the table a lot for Miami and sometimes set it and clear it. Yokum to the plate again. The ball not handled cleanly by Martin, but Mike up and out of there very quickly. Mike Martin, one of three catchers thus far named to the Smith Award, the Smith Award Super Team. One of three in the nation, along with Matt Curtis from Fresno State, A.J. Hinch from Stanford, named among the outstanding catchers in all of college baseball here in 1995. As we mentioned, Mike's had his problems, hitting about a buck 80 right now, but terms of his defense there just aren't many better here's the 2 1 off speed pitch gama taking all the way and takes another strike it's now two balls and two strikes gama the team captain this year moved back to his natural position at second base after playing last season in the outfield there's the 2 2 lined into center field coming in was J.D. Drew but the ball not hit very hard bounces in front of J.D. 